You too. Welcome back. What's up? What's up, dude? How are you? Good to see you. The black reflectors look yeah. so much better. Oh, you noticed it when you pulled up? Yeah. This is what I struggle with, is how far they go into here. Yeah. Oh, with the PPF? Yeah, so I didn't PPF your headlights, which is why I'm not charging you for the PPF. It's all good. Uh, give me some more time to get some more experience with PPF, and I'll take care of this. I'm getting it set up for the um, the alignment on the 6th of this week. Okay. So I'm going to pull the caster like forward a little bit. Yeah. I'm going to pretty much like add a little bit more camber and then drop the rear tiny bit more as well. Oh, you're dropping the rear? Yeah, just for the show. Go with like touching up the edges of everything. I mean, this I looks it went pretty well. good. Um, that looks good. I mean, look for yourself. The side skirt part of the kit didn't see as much tension as the rest of the car. Okay. Um, so there is stuff we could go further on that if we wanted to like take it off and like get it even nicer. Make it perfect. Yeah. Um, so like on this, like on the car, there was a ton of little blemishes all around the kit, like going along all the edges, kind of where the wrap pulled off. And no one went around and he took touch up paint. BMW Sapphire and Metallic, which was like an identical match to the Nocturnal Black. When I called Toyota and looked online, like their nocturnal paint is nowhere to be seen anywhere. It's all a special order. He went through, he did a full one stage. Technically, it was stage? supposed to be a one step correction. Okay. The top half is closer to like two or three step correction. He put, what was it, wrap? Yeah, just black, satin black. Line. Black wrap on like the red reflectors, which I think it looks way nice. It just like cleans up the rear end. There was hella adhesive all over. Like, now it looks great. Like, underneath like all the hardware, there was just like this. To me, it was an eyesore, and I know you were going crazy looking at it. It looked terrible. That was a lot of work. A ton of adhesive, and I mean, it's like all gone. That was like the biggest thing that I was like, I felt really shitty kind of putting the task on him. But I was like, if there's one person who's actually going to get rid of it besides me, but I just didn't want to do it or have the time, no one was going to do it. He's kind of like a, uh, a perfectionist. If you're in Washington, hit up Envy Premium Detailing. Here's our company right here. I tape the absolute shit out of because I hate when dirt and water sit inside the wing and then you wash your car and then you go for a drive and it pours muddy it's water the worst. out. So it's lined on both sides all the way down and should essentially be completely sealed off. Let's see how the lineup game is. So that's the gap right there. <laughs> Put me on the spot. Oh wow, you killed it. It's all right, we're good? Yeah, you nailed it. Wow. It was actually kind of difficult to line up. I literally just like, I, I was like, you know, I think it only goes on one way. So I taped it and just slammed it on and it actually looked decent. Yeah. One little thing too is like shit that like, I would just like never fix or know how to fix was this was really scratched just from again, like thrown around. You PPF'd it? I polished it and then PPF'd it and it made it better. Not perfect, but better. It's perfect to any regular person. These edges were probably the worst for showing the white. Oh, on the back of this panel? Yeah, I'll try to send you some like befores of that. Um, the front fender, what I ended up doing, uh, I don't think I did it on both. I think I only did it on one of them. One of them was worse than the other. And so on that one, I took the whole fender off, wet sanded the entire edge down, and then just painted the whole edge. Sick. There's like little pieces on the side screw on the other side. I'll probably just get a bottle of it and just like do like teeny little touch up. And like, Honestly, like a huge shout out to him again. Like the work that I had like asked him to do and he's really busy. He has a ton of work. He's, his service is like close to none. It's just, he squeezed me in. I mean, it's literally, he let me bring it over like directly to his house and just every like couple hours he would give me an update. Let me know how the car is doing. Like he's a real deal car guy, you know, but he killed it. Oh he shit. Bad. Um, I ended up using this. It's basically just like a toothpick. Okay. Um, typically works better than like the fat brush on the end of it. A little more oh. detailed. It was scuffed, so I wrapped it. The black? Yeah. <laughs> You're joking. Seriously, again though, huge shout out to Gnome. He took this car pretty much to the finish line. Now it actually is presentable for Wegfest, and it doesn't look like shit, at least in my eyes. I gave it to the man who uh, will pick apart a brand new car. <laughs> There's like little things he keeps showing me around the car that I'm like, ah, no one's gonna notice. I'm like, ah, oh, it looks perfect, but to him it still needs a lot of work, but I think it looks great. So now we gotta go get it aligned, and there's a couple other things we gotta do before then. We're gonna drop the rear a little bit. Exhaust. I did, I noticed that I have, like, on this exhaust there's like a, a, like a metal clamp that's like, like right by the diff. Yeah. And there's normally like this like black like rubber piece that goes in it. Uh -huh. And it was missing when I installed the exhaust again. And so I just kind of sent it. 
And I was like, it didn't rattle or anything. And then I was looking in my garage and I just saw it laying on the ground. I'm like, oh no shit, I actually have it. So we got to put that on. I actually can't, I can't see shit on the camera. Way back over there. Yeah, right here. Much better. I mean, this is like a, the, the smallest difference ever, but I think it really does change the back of the car. The reflector? Yeah. I think so too. Looks really good. Did I hit you up like months ago to wrap your reflectors before you was even on with the you wide body kit? You did. Yeah. Nah, I totally forgot about that. I haven't posted a video in forever. The last video I had was like the drone footage, which was actually flying over his house right here. And then like flew pretty much all around over there. I didn't record that. No, I did not get a drone. I know some people were asking me if I did, but he uh, he had someone pull up to his house and record a video, which, and I just was like, yo, dude, I kind of want some of the raw clips because I haven't recorded anything because I haven't had the car. And so we just used that just as a quick throwaway video, but. Uh, the car is looking incredible now. Like just from driving, all the water like beaded and just came right off the paint. I just threw gas in it. That's going to be the last fill up actually before week fest. If you don't know how shows work, you can't have too much gas in your car and you also have to have your battery unplugged. You're not allowed to have more than a quarter tank and so I just threw in like another like 10 bucks. I had like literally five miles left in the range. All right, y'all, welcome back to the garage. Just the next day, I'm going to, I don't think my coilovers are all the way maxed out. You can't really tell at this angle. Um, but I'm gonna try to clear this gap a little bit, try to get a little bit lower. Other than that, the car is actually dry now. So looking around, like all the detail and everything you did, it looks incredible. Looks much better than it did when I dropped it off. Now it really looks like, like an OEM paint finish. When I removed the wrap, I was like legitimately just like yanking it off. I didn't heat it up or do like any heat gun action or anything. So I kind of paid the price for that. I kind of walked myself into that realistically. As you can see, so this is the adjustment collar. Well, this is what you actually adjust the rear ride height on with these cars. So adjusting the coilover adjusts like the height between this part of the car and the top of your spring. So considering that this is already maxed out, so I was right, he did max it out. There's only one way I can get this lower and it's just to remove this all together. Now, it looks like that's about maybe an inch and a half. Whoa, 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 whoa. And I'm honestly really thinking about taking it off. It's probably a bad idea though. Should I do it? While I think about it, I'm gonna fix the exhaust real quick. Uh, and I will have a verdict if I wanna do it or not in like five minutes. I took off the adjuster and I'm like really I don't know how to feel about it that's the fitment now the 
This is the fitment on the other side. That's already like tight, right? But now we're like on the B practically, which I think, I mean, it looks really good, but my main issue, right, is now the exhaust is like literally on the ground, like pretty much all the way at the bottom. I think I'm gonna keep it. So that's this side. You can see like there's, the tire is tucked under the overguard. And this side, it's not nearly as tight. Let me, you can see definitely still a lot more tire visibility on this side. So kind of this angle. It looks like a monster truck back there. You know, the more I look at it, the more I kind of want to keep it. <laughs> it looks insane. Don't you guys think? I mean, that just looks nuts. I might keep it, y'all. I can't decide. I just felt like the rear end was missing something, like it didn't look as aggressive as it could. There's no doubt. I mean, it definitely makes it look more aggressive, that inch drop. I might keep it. Significantly different.